Listening and ranking all Fantano zeros, because why not? Let's learn a lesson in controversy in this review. I'm feeling a light zero on I'm gay. A lot going on in this cover here, man. A lot to dissect. Okay. Introspective raps. Okay. Not, not, not too bad so far. This ain't bad so far. Why is this a zero? It's 20 minutes. Oh, brother. I say what I want to say because I feel like forever. Damn, okay, I hold my hands up, I hold my hands up. Context is always needed, and damn. I just realized, yes, context is very important, and what I'm gauging is that obviously a lot more context is needed to know that like Lil B is a rapper. I mean, I've heard a couple Lil B songs, so I'm probably not gonna, let's say, let me just say this, we should probably just do a discography dive on him and do extensive research on him. I'm still gonna listen to the album, but it's making a whole lot of no sense now that I've seen the Fantan review. <laughs> Okay. Okay. This beat hard. Ooh. I'm gauging this is a weird point to start off with a little bit, but I'm here for it still. Hey, spirited away. Let's see how a day flip this. Mm. Mm. I like that bar. It's got some nice lines on this one. That's real. That's real. This ethereal beat. Production's been pretty solid, man. I could cruise to this. <laughs> that delivery. Bro, these sample pools are kind of nuts, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Lil B as a character, a rapper, a figure in hip hop is someone I'm not exactly super clued up on. I of course know some of his songs and I am aware of some of the antics that have kind of propelled him to be as infamous as he is. But I don't know him well enough to kind of maybe appreciate this is my first starting point as a full Lil B album from front to back uh, so i'm probably gonna have to do a discography dive on here at some point to really kind of get a feel for lil b but only after watching fantana's full review did i kind of get what he meant and why he justified the zero it seems lil b is really kind of taking his time out of his usual antics and usual sound to kind of give us more of a grounded more honest raw and just life filled records it's kind of interesting a lot of the production is very ethereal soul samples very glossy R&B chops it's and you've even got a spirited away sample in there which is kind of crazy I think it's very pleasant on the ears and I don't think Lil B uh, does anything to kind of ruin it I think some of his bars come a bit amateurish but I feel like that's kind of the appeal of Lil B like he's uh he's not perfect in his delivery or his his wordplay but what he says is kind of true so I think there's kind of a charm to it definitely not awful would I listen to it in full again probably not but I appreciate it I'm, I'm gonna give this a B tier I'm feeling a zero on this record um, yep, a zero. Okay, not awful. Seven seconds in, but not awful. Yeah, this isn't... One, two... I'm not hating, I'm not, I'm not gonna hate, I'm not gonna hate. I'm, I'm being open-minded. This is just the intro, this is just the intro anyway. Alright, we're past the intro, let's, let's go. A little, uh, sounds a little flat. These vocals sounds like the same verse from the first song. Oh, it is the, it is the first verse. I want it to be nice. Sounds like default presets, like synth pad underscore five. What track are we on? I see, I see where I, I kind of see the vision with this one. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of see the vision. Hey, hold on, this one's got 3 million streams. What are you talking about, Planet Rock? What you got, what you got? What are you telling me, what are you telling me? All right, let's talk about gender. Come on, what are we, what are we saying, what are we saying? We, we're still talking about, talking about gender. This ain't bad at all. I mean, I wouldn't really say it's like, good. Oh, come on, okay, come on now, come on now. No, come on, nah, come on. There's gotta be a beat switch. There's gotta be a beat switch. 
This song's almost five minutes. I don't, I'm not catching the flow on this one, guys. Um, this noise is about to become my sleep paralysis demon. It's been going on for four minutes. Basically just this looping over and over again. Oh my, is finally stopping. Oh. You know, I like to go in blind. I like to be fair with my videos, but he was right. Planning to rock. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. You know, there was lyrics about gender identity and sexuality, except it was very sparse and there was nothing to latch onto. So the subject matter of this album was barely there. Some of these songs are like five lines long. Some of them are just repeating phrases over and over again, like patriarchy's dead or whatever, or let's talk about gender. It would have been nice to get something on these topics, but we just didn't. So there's barely any subject matter to kind of critique or go off. Then we've got just the music element of it, which was scraping passable scraping passable and mid at some moments but downright unsavable at others that, that this was a type of bad but you can't even have fun listening to it i was just constantly watching the time tick away wow wow for my sake for your sake let's just call it here i'm feeling a zero on this record a big fat goose egg it's not my favorite but it has a place i would say there's a place. I just, mm, I don't think his voice fits too well like this. Okay, this song a little goofy. Return of the Rage. <laughs> oh, I don't like the way he said that. Her vagina's moist and warm. Like, I don't like the way he said that. Ugh. And the recurring Beavis and Butthead skits. I think it's Beavis and Butthead. I can get behind some of the messages and his lyrics. It's just everything around that. But I guess if you like Cuddy and you, you like what he does, I can see maybe there being some appeal to it, but uh. I came in trying to find songs and these last, these last like eight songs have been a void to me. And now I'm here. <laughs> I think a lot of them had this kind of tempo and singing style so they merge together for me but this one wasn't as bad for me i do like how he's kind of very he reaches for those like exaggerated singing styles every now and again i feel like it makes it kind of entertaining yeah this is the best one on the album i actually quite like this so far it's a shame because I feel like part of this album's flaw might be its sequencing. Had it open with this, I feel like maybe something like first impressions would have been different. I think this is just pleasant. It's kind of got that raspy voice kind of going. And obviously the subject matter is what it is, but for me, this works. This works. Like I can't tell if the chords are kind of sad, hopeful or depressing. It's like a weird middle type of mixture. It's kind of interesting. Oh, speeding bullet to heaven. How we've mistreated you. It's, it's pretty bad in some places. I don't really enjoy this album. It's a bit tedious. There's a lot of like meandering and just long stretches where Cardi's like either shouting or just not really finding a, a, an engaging pocket on a song for me to really like bob my head to i'm kind of just passively this thing like is this gonna end anytime soon however what i will say is there are still some cuts out of this that aren't nearly as bad or unlistenable as i think the general reception would have people believe it to be i think that part of this is to do with maybe a bit of sequencing there are some songs that probably could have a bit more oomph to them had you hit heard them in a different sequence and you gotta imagine people are listening to an album front to back so when you have these long stretches of songs in the middle of an album where no one can really take anything away from them of course that's what your perception is going to be skewed towards i will say there are some okay songs some mid songs some pretty bad songs that i will never want to listen to again but i mean the title track i feel like if we opened with that maybe uh, you know you never know a zero a zero seems a little harsh it is a low rated album for me but i'm not gonna say it's a zero out of ten it's more like a four for me. Yeah, I'd say like a four if I had to give it out of 10 rate. I am genuinely feeling like a strong zero on 
this record. It's it's like a strong zero to a light one. I kind of find the uh, production on this one a bit goofy. I'm not gonna lie, but it's up, it's uplifting. <coughs> Stop. It just sounds so goofy. You know, production on this is actually pretty nice. It's been a while since I've heard this. For me, it's normally his voice that I can't get behind. Can't go wrong with a bit of Smino. Smooth on this one. I like how dynamic Smino is, man. Hot shower. <laughs> you know, this is fun bad, I think. This already kind of sounds out of date. Eeny, miny, mo type flow, bro. Shout out the Navi soundbite in the background. This ain't bad. We like the beat on this as well. Very sincere type moment. Vocals ain't too bad either. That summertime cookout music. Mm. I feel like the beat doing too much. Mm. Where are we going with this? All right, is this where we? Uh, is this where we? What? What are these bars, bro? See, I, I thought I had had this album all wrong, but I'm starting to remember. Uh, I, I don't need no more singing. I don't, I'm gonna have to tap out of this one. Oh my days, burn man hand rub. This shit fit me like a damn glove. Is that how we open in our songs now? Oh, he definitely think he's in Staples now. Man, what happened? What happened? Where Where are we now? <laughs> Is this the same album? Where are we? Peanut butter jelly froze. Okay, 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 okay. Nicki Minaj, Lil Durk and Chance on the Pierre beat. But it sounds like this. Like, who is it kind of for? scrambled that maybe you know people are being too harsh on this album but after sitting through what an hour and 20 minutes of the big day by chance the rapper i can comfortably say that i am never returning to this album ever again Even my dog sleeping, bruh. Realistically, I do think there are elements of this album that were very overhated and kind of diminished and put down because the whole project is kind of just this big cluster of random goofiness, um, sincerity, um, pop hits. But I, I think the, the lack of identity really just kind of hinders this album because so many songs, I'm just like, who... Who is bumping this? Like, who is he trying to aim for? Because sometimes it actually sounds like he's rapping for the kids, like preteens. Some redeeming qualities, you know, some cool flows, nice singing, good production. I can't really knock this down on production too much, but it's just, it, it's just goofy, man. I don't know how to. I, I, I think it's just a very goofy project, but not by far the worst project we've had on this whole thing that we've listened to. Yeah, this is probably still like a detail album. <laughs> this, this was horrendous. This is everything that I just don't want a rock album to be. Feeling a strong zero to a light one on this one. You know, I like Green Day. I mean, I like some of their old songs. I don't really keep up with them. So I don't know, let's, let's, let's see what, why this one's considered so bad. It's going by so fast before I can even form an opinion. I'm feeling nothing right now. Like I feel very impartial to this right now. Okay, this sounded like some Windows desktop, laptop, advert music. Where the bangers? Green Day, where the bangers at? <laughs> Man, this song is only three and a half minutes, but why does it feel like it's been going on for ages? Is this like some modern rock version of some swinging 60s type song? 
Perhaps there's a reason people don't really do stuff like this. It doesn't jump out as super bad to me, but it sounds like kind of generic, bit dry, maybe. See, like, this part here is not, it's not too bad. I, I don't mind this. But then it does this, and you lose me. You, you, you lost me with this. <laughs> I'm gonna be so real. My frame of reference with Green Day is so bad, considering I'm, I, I like some of their old stuff, but I'm not an avid. I don't know if they've shifted their shouts. Some of these songs were just sounding like advert type beats to me and I don't really gain much from it Like some of these were one to two minute songs and I did they kind of just blew past me This was okay. It may just I may not just be as tapped in as a lot of you guys are But I know this album didn't go down well at all and I don't know it, from a very very casual Green Day enjoyer, I won't call myself a fan, but Green Day Enjoyer, it, it felt like there was no bangers, like that's what they're known for, they're known for the bangers, the angst, you know what I mean, like I might be out of touch in saying that so I'll hold my hands up, but yeah, it just kind of went in one ear and out the other, that's all I can say. Yeah, um, uh, sorry, but uh, I'm, I'm feeling a light zero on this, 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 is the, this is the lightest, featheriest, just not, not even a light zero, it's, it's a straight zero. Why is she singing like the opposite of like mumble rap? Like she's singing like she's opening her mouth like this every single syllable. Best, 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 best. Okay. All right, fuck now. What? What are you talking about? Oh my gosh. What in the booze mansion is this? She sings the same every song with the same flow. Nah. They're trying to cheer me up right now. But I'm feeling hella miserable. No, I'm in a hate mood today. I don't know what it is, but like, it sounds like she's like right there, like in my face. Back up. Stop singing at me. I'm not interested. Like, be quiet. Please, I beg you, just shut up. No, 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 no. You, you don't have bars though. Like, you just don't. You just don't. Flying down the street like Superman. Who told you this was a good idea? Why are you swearing like it's... Even the way she's swearing is pissing me off. Like, she, she can't do anything right, or I don't even know, the band, I, I don't care anymore. Like, why are you making it this big thing every time you say, uh, I just, I, I, I'm just, is this the last track? Oh, thank you. There's no way, this is a real song. I think I, I think we know her favourite swear word. Mm. It sounds like, I'm so crazy, I'm a bit cozy personified into a song. I I actually don't really know what to say about this Tones and I album other than I just felt annoyed. I did kind of just wake up from a nap when I first heard it and you know how I like to be fair sometimes and you know give everything a fair shot but I was just, just the voice it's just jarring it's just in your ear in your face the production is just I don't even know how to describe it it's just like and then she's all in your ear like just shut up i just can't take it i just can't take it it's like this is the stuff you hear when you turn on the radio i cannot i this is i will never like music like this i will never it sounds like kids bop music bro but worse a strong zero to a light one on this I forgot how hard this was, I'm not gonna lie. This beat crazy, I don't care. Them like Game Boy simp sounds, I think it sounds so hard. Yeah. This is like the prelude to a great chaos. Man, I hurt and the too tough, bro. Yeah, 
Hit it. Hit it. Stop. What is it with Plan B, bro? Super Hall is crazy. This beat, man. That's crazy lights coming up. Green Day. So I'm not going to lie, out of Teen X, Project X and A Great Chaos, I do think X is the weakest album. I do feel like this was a mandatory album for Ken Carson to kind of level up his sound and experiment with flows, voices. I think this is kind of, you get snippets of what A Great Chaos was kind of trying to be like, but this album is just too long. It's too much of a mixed bag, personally. I know you just saw me turning up to the songs, but they're the songs I liked. These are the songs I've saved off the album. All the others are just very repetitive and they're just doesn't need to be this many songs on there because they sound too dissimilar there's the songs that stand out where he gets a great beat and he catches a cool pocket and i get it like this is new age rage music whatever you want to call it if you don't get it it doesn't scratch that corner of your brain then you, you ain't gonna vibe with it so i can kind of see how this would be probably the worst music in the world to someone but to me i've always loved electronic music i've loved like especially like chip tune game sounding music and i've always wanted that to cross over to hip-hop and this is the sound like this is this rage sound so this rage sound was kind of built for me so i kind of personally like it however i still think x is a bit mid but it's got some good highlights this is far from a zero out of ten for me i still get some enjoyment out of it but out of like four ken projects this one will be the one i always rank last in a tube of zeros i would not give this a zero out of ten I'll, i'd give it more like a five out of ten it's not a background listen it's it's really honestly a no listen it's a no listen which is why i'm feeling a zero on this why was this a thing i'm just it's so random were they like forced to do it we ain't too bad I'm smiling because I just saw something funny on uh, something else. Now, back to this. To this. Whatever. I didn't catch you the first time. And then the random JIT feature. What was the universe cooking when this plot decided to happen? 2024 script was going crazy. And that's done. Time to clean my ears. I love how when this was announced, everyone was like, this is going to be awful. They gave them so much shit and everyone was, you know, like, I kind of like feel like this album was just destined to fail from the moment it was announced. And everyone said, oh, it's going to be the worst thing ever. This is going to be the worst thing ever. Unfortunately, people were right about that. But zero out of ten, I mean, listen, I believe cookie cutter is the phrase I'm looking for. It just sounds like a bunch of sad emo guitar hip hop fusion type beat juice world sad trap beat type beat and they're just kind of going up over it doing the most like repetitive flows the most like uh, like over and over again like i just feel like this was manufactured because i feel someone looked at it and went you know should be red and mgk have a little bit of crossover it's, a, it's weird enough it could work why don't you guys just do it and then just Jid just pops up. I mean, Jid sounds fine on the track, but again, it's just it just sounds all very basic and bland. You know, first three tracks, I was thinking, you know, this isn't making my ears bleed, but then my ears fell asleep, so yeah. You know, there's more to a Fantana review than just the score, but for this, it was just about listening to the things he deems zeros, which we can assume are pretty much some of the worst reviews out there unless it's like a not good or anything but some of this is definitely zero worthy <laughs> it's definitely zero worthy i think my criteria for a zero is definitely just if it's like there's no redeeming qualities like even trying to be nice no redeeming qualities so bad production lyrics subject matter if if there's nothing there and you can't even get some sort of enjoyment out of it like fun bad enjoyment it that would be a zero to me there were some let's try that again there were some albums here where they didn't really make my ears bleed. For example, the Trippy Red and the MGK. 
it was pretty awful but like the beats were just like whatever this isn't making my ears bleed i wouldn't necessarily give this a zero obviously ken carson that's probably the furthest thing from a zero for me and i'm not even a huge fan of that album as it is but it's got repetitive aspects to it and it's that kind of music where if you really <laughs> really don't like it that is going to probably sound like one of the worst things ever so that's it let me know what you think i think we got some more discography dives to get into lil b pink floyd um lupe so let me know which one you want to see next and yeah maybe we do the tens so take it easy peace